Greetings, good viewer. This is the Skyrider. Welcome back to episode five of Let's Play Freedom Force. Now, uh, I'm sure many of you will be pleased to hear that I've uh, managed to uh, make some adjustments. So, hopefully, for this and indeed all future videos, uh, the in-game sound will not drown out my commentary, uh, or vice versa. As it ha well, no, actually, not vice versa, uh, as it has done for the previous two videos, because. I was a goon and didn't realize until after I'd uploaded them that that was an issue. So yes, I've done some adjustments and let me know what you think. Hopefully this sound will be better, but uh, that's not, not what you came here to see. You came here to see cutscenes. Yes indeed you did. Onwards to the next mission, good viewer. The being known only as Mentor brings the Minuteman back to his newly established base of operations. A base that will soon become known to all the citizens of Patriot City as the Freedom Fortress. All right, Mentor. I need some answers. What is this place? I have established it as a base of operations. For whom? For us, Frank Styles. This planet you call Earth is in danger. Yes, I know. I'm ready to face the communist hordes. It's the reason I became Minuteman. But why are you here? These communists are not the threat I speak of. I will tell you of a race that was once great, but has been descended into villainy and wickedness. They are called the Domain, and they are ruled by a tyrant known only as Lord Dominion. The Secret Origin of Mentor. As man took his first baby steps into the void of space, one question grew more and more important in the mind of humanity. Are we alone? A dreadful answer was now becoming clear. Glory to you, Lord Dominion! May all your conquests be merciless! Traitor, how many dimensions have I conquered? Nearly all of them, my lord. Nearly all, except one. Look at that planet. Do you know what it's called? Earth. Earth. Why, they haven't even discovered that other dimensions exist yet. Can you imagine a planet so primitive? Lord Dominion, who is that? His name is Clubber Johnson. He sits on death row, awaiting execution for a triple murder. Do you know why he killed? For a twenty dollar watch and some costume jewelry. Such small imaginations. What if we were not to destroy this planet Earth? You cannot be serious, my lord. That beauty planet is the only thing that lies between you and utter control of the universe! You have little imagination, Lackey. I intend Earth to be destroyed, but it would amuse me if it were to destroy itself. But how can a planet destroy itself? We shall give them the power of Energy X. My lord! Have you gone mad? Give the Earthlings our secret weapon! Not all the Earthlings, you fool! Seek out the greediest, basest, and most corrupt of their number. To these wretches, we shall give power beyond their imagination. Make them stronger, smarter, and better than their fellow man. Earthling has killed Earthling since the dawn of time. Energy X will simply allow them to finish the job. They will destroy themselves utterly. I will put our scientists to work immediately. But the Warlord and his second-in-command were unaware that their conversation had been overheard. For in the darkness of the Imperial Chamber, there was a spy. If the Warlord destroys Earth, there shall be no dimensions left to stand up to his merciless regime. I must not allow it to happen. But how? He has an entire battle fleet, and I, the Mentor, alone dare oppose his dark plans. That's it. What if I were to steal the Energy X? I could travel to Earth and find worthy men and women to endow with its power. They could stand up to the monstrosities Lord Dominion intends to create. All I need is a spaceship and courage. Later. My starships prepare to cross the dimensional barrier itself to bring their deadly cargo to Earth. Your scheme is perfect, my lord. Nothing can stand in its way. The entire supply of Energy X is aboard this freighter. Mustn't let myself be seen. Hey, who's there? My lord! 
Somebody is hijacking the ship! You fool! Scramble the fleet! Stop him with your very lives! I'll have his corpse. Or yours. The mentor ship speeds away from the home planet, through the dimensional gate. Hot on its heels is a fleet of the domain starships, firing all the while. I've taken severe damage. I just need to get to Earth. They dare not follow me there and reveal their secret plot. At the last second, a lucky shot hits the rear stabilizer of the mentor ship. It breaks apart over the Patriot City area, and he's forced to eject. Canisters of Energy X land all across the thriving metropolis. That's quite a story, but I don't believe in aliens, spaceships, or Energy X. Then how do you explain your own powers? The statue that turns you into Minuteman. We'll need to maintain a keen observation for new superpower entities. Any activation of Energy X in this city will trigger an alarm on this device. But we have to wait until it's activated, by which time it could be too late. We shall not have to wait long, I fear. Patriot Park? But is that ice? In July? That's impossible! Observe the awesome power of Energy X. You're making a believer out of me, Spaceman! To action! So there we have uh, what is quite possibly one of my favourite secret origins in the game, uh, because it has um, my favourite line in the entire game in terms of its uh, delivery, which is, My lord! Have you gone mad? Give the earthlings our secret weapon! I just love the voice actors of Praetor and Lord Dominion again, like Mentor, they just deliver the lines with absolutely no sense of shame, and just you know, absolutely go for it, which is uh, something I've always admired uh, uh, in voice actors, particularly voice actors, or any actors for fantasy or sci-fi, which are traditionally the genres of nerds such as myself. But yes, uh, that's just, uh, that's brilliant. And uh, we now have much more backstory as well. We understand from where Mentor came from. How he got his disguise, I don't know, because his face, although shadowed in that uh, secret origin is clearly not that of a human. However, uh, I pose uh, questions which are probably not that important. So, uh, we will take a brief break because this is that's quite a long series of cutscenes to watch, and we will commence the mission and investigate the ice in Patriot Park momentarily. I will see you shortly, good viewer. But we will enter the fray. <laughs> 